Today we're in Brydenwood for the launch of our new Seismic School Design app and standardised frame solution. We are a pioneering consortium um, set out to transform how we can design and deliver and procure primary schools going forward. It's really exciting because we are revealing some of the work of the Seismic Consortium to the industry for the first time. We've got some very senior people here from all walks of life, from different government departments, from client organisations, consultancies, constructors as well, so absolutely wonderful. The reason for our involvement was um, for the last five, six years, the department have been actively pushing modern methods of construction and modular construction. We talk about it all the time, about the market working together. Uh, very few times do you get this type of consor consortium where you've got a, a shared goal and different companies coming together to say we're going to work together to try and make the wider market better. An analogy, a very simple one, if we take the shipping container at its very basic form, it's the component, it's the base element, when we standardise that, it allows the ecosystem and the platform to grow. One of the key things that we wanted to achieve was a standardised connector. So we've created that, we have got one single structural component at the corner of the module and it allows us to interconnect in different ways. We're reducing the parts, we're standardizing the parts. We've got 31% fewer components to make up the same building block, frame and connector. This is a really exciting time for architects. Suddenly, everything is possible. In an industry that is often perceived as conservative, how can we preserve this momentum? and use it to inspire our new young architects of the future to join our profession. We wanted to embrace and encourage this engagement in the school design process. And that is why we conceived of the Seismic app as being both a design tool and a game. We see fut a future where children can also contribute to the design process. We funded the Seismic project. It was the first lead project within the Transforming Construction programme. And we're really excited because it's a real pioneering project and a trailblazer for us. It's hit the kind of targets we're trying to achieve within the programme. Um, and you know, for the first project to, be, to come through with results that match the aims of the programme, it's just really exciting for us. What can I say about Seismic? Thank God you did such a good job. So we're trying to bring down the cost of delivering buildings for over their lifetime by a third, speed up their delivery by 50%, halve the emissions coming from buildings. We want to boost productivity by at least 15%, and that's exactly what Seismic has done. The general reaction has been unanimously positive throughout the presentations and especially afterwards in the breakout areas where people have had the opportunity to trial the new app but also really investigate how the standardised frame solution goes together. I'm over the moon. There's a, there's a good 12 months and some uh, of work gone into this, uh, which has had its ups and downs all the way, as, as any project has. Uh, and for it to finally come and get the reception that we've got today is fantastic. Our job is to actually make a difference to society, and that's what we measure ourselves on. This team working together and actually getting competitors working together and understanding that and trusting us that we actually weren't trying to get any commercial value out of it. Yeah, that's, that's been a big success for us. One of the things that was quite unusual about the consortium was working with McAvoy, who are one of our biggest competitors, uh, and still are. Um, but we worked really, really closely. We visited their factory. They've come to our factory. We've been on weekly telephone conversations with them. Um, we set out very early on what we were going to share and what we weren't going to share. Um, and it's been a really, really positive experience. We've got to put these commercial drivers that are about protecting our own interests rather than the interests of what we're trying to achieve overall to, to one side. We're seeing it all the time. It's not delivering. So we've got to find new ways and this is a fantastic new way of doing it. I hope we're at a tipping point. We have to be.
What we've, I've seen today is that uh, Seismic is a really good piece of cooperation between uh, different partners and uh, different industry partners, which is great because we need more cooperation in the construction sector. And I particularly like the uh, the app, the tool for youngsters because there's massive capability and massive um, ability out there in youngsters to design. Children have got both um, an awareness of the built environment and the natural environment, and they're very passionate about it. And they've also got the digital skills. They're intrinsic to youngsters. This looks like a great tool to bring that to the fore and we need to turn construction into uh, a, a career choice, something you do as a first choice rather than last resort, which I'm afraid it is now. We've got a real opportunity to, to transform construction, certainly transform the way we construct schools, uh, but if we can use schools as a sort of beacon of this is how you do it really well, uh, it will push other ministries and the private sector. As a public sector we have a responsibility to actually deliver value for money for the taxpayer. If we can deliver uh, higher repeatability through some standardisation that delivers um, a better whole life performance then we should be then able to invest more in the services that go in, in those environments. So in this instance more for teachers, more for nurses, the things that people care about happening in those facilities. Fantastic effort by the group and a real true collaboration across the supply chain and I think that was the critical uh, element to this work and just sort of demonstrating the future.